Hey everybody, are you ready to work on this month's project? This month we're going to be using some Odd Girls clear stamp um, called Grow. She comes with this great girl and then she's got one, two, three, four accessory stamps and two um, sentiments that you can add to your card. So we're going to watercolor her today, so let's get started. Alright, so I've already stamped my girl on Canson 140 pound Montval watercolor paper and I've used Ranger Archival um, ink in jet black. I'm also going to use my medium zig detail water brush and all this stuff can be found over at the store at Heather's Hobby Haven. And to start I'm going to outline my image with tumbled glass. And I've already tested my water brush to make sure I have enough water on it. And I'm just going to grab me a little bit of my tumbled glass, just a little dab on the end there. And I'm going to start by laying down a line of ink right here along her pants, or her skirt, whichever the case may be. I couldn't decide which it was. And then even if I had a bunch of ink when I got down here at the bottom, I would stop so that this doesn't dry and just wipe my brush off and then just use my water to spread this out away from her body. Then I'll get me a little bit more tumbled glass and I'll come up here and add some up here. And before I start wiping with the water, I always wipe my brush off so there's no more ink on it. I don't want it to continue adding more ink. I want to be able to let it dry and then come back. Get a little closer there. Okay, so you can come down here like, like beside her hair, around her feathers. And then wipe my brush off and then take just the water I have in my brush to wipe this out. And there's quite a bit right here, so I may stop and wipe my brush off again so that I don't have, I'm not collecting more ink as I go. And then rub it out here into the background. I got a little bit on her cheek, on her mouth right here, so I'm just going to get it wet with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to take my little paper towel I have over here and I'm just going to dab it on there like that and pull it right back up while it's still wet. That's an easy fix. And see the water is just pulling it away from her and making it diluted until it just goes out into the paper looking like we've just made a little shadow there. And I'm going to stop down here at her feet because I'm going to make her stand on some ground. A little patch right here in between her arm and this little spot in her hair. We'll get that and color that a little bit. I think you can hardly see it. So you can let it dry and then you can go back and add some more like I'm going to do over here on this side of her dress. So again, grab a little bit of ink. Run a line down to the bottom, wipe your brush off, and then just take the water and spread it out away from her body out into the background. And because that's quite a bit, I'm going to wipe my brush off again, pick some more ink up, wipe it out towards the outside, wipe off the brush, come back, and continue wiping it until when you get out here, it becomes just the paper. You hardly see the ink out here anymore. And you can do that all the way around if you would like. 
So I'm going to continue doing that all the way around to make her a little bit darker, but I'm going to speed it up. And I'm liking that, so I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to let it dry a little bit before I put the ground on because it's still wet right here. So I'm going to move on to her skin, and for her skin, I'm going to start with Tattered Rose, and I'm using Ranger Distress Inks to color her today. So with my Tattered Rose, I want to start where I want my ink to be darkest, so I'm going to lay down a line right here along her hairline, down to her neck, and see by now my ink is kind of diluting over here. I want that to happen. But now I'm going to wipe the excess ink on my brush off. And so I've got this pile of ink right here and I'm just going to take the water in my brush and wipe it out here to the edge of her face. And I'm going to try not to get any right here where her eyeball is at. But if you do, it's easy to fix. So that's hardly any color. You can barely see it, but I'm going to leave it like that and let it dry. And I'm going to go add some to her arm and her um, to her neck while that's drying. So again, I want it to be darkest right here where her arm, her hair is touching her arm, and down this side of her arm and underneath. And then wipe off your excess ink and use that ink you laid down to spread onto the rest of her arm. And remember, this is just the first coat, so it's okay for it to be. You can hardly see it. That's fine. I'm going to do the same thing on this arm. Wipe your brush off. I'm just got a little bit of her shoulder showing right here. And I'm going to say this is lace on her dress, and that's her her chest right there that you can see underneath and those are just strings from her dress holding it up. Okay, and she's also got a cup, her little toes are sticking out down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get those just a little bit. And we'll let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go up here and darken up her face. So again, I'll grab me a little bit of Tattered Rose on my brush. Lay it down where I want it to be darkest, wipe my brush off, and then use my brush with just water to come out onto her face. And see how much shadow that added just with that second coat? And we're going to do the same thing down here for her arms. A little, more, a little bit more color on her fingers this time. Go get this other arm. And you may, your brush may need to be given a little bit of a squeeze by now. I've had to pump mine a couple of times. You don't want it to get too dry. You want it, the water to go smoothly flow onto your paper and move the ink around. So if it's feeling kind of dragging, go ahead and give your brush a little bit of a pump. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more on this side of her hand over here. I'm kind of liking that. 
So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some shadows to the top upper part of her face where her hairline is. And for that, I'm going to mix me a little bit of tumbled or of a little bit of tattered rose. Let me grab my little sheet here. Okay, so I have my little laminated sheet, and you could use your nonstick craft mat, an acrylic block, um, whatever you have available that you can wipe off. And I'm going to put a little bit of tattered rose like that onto my craft sheet. And then I'm going to grab just a little bitty dab of um, tea dye at the end of my brush. See that little bitty bit? And I'm going to put that in here and mix it in. So I've got this little bitty patch, which is hardly any when you look next to my brush. I'm going to use that to shade... Um, the edge of her face. And so I've got my girl and I'm going to grab a little bit of that mixed paint and I'm going to lay it down right next to her hairline. Maybe under her chin. And I'm going to wipe my brush off so I don't have any extra. And I'm going to use that to smooth it out here into her cheeks. And while that's wet, I'm going to grab me a little bit of my war, um, worn lipstick. And remember, worn lipstick is really bright, so you only need a little bit. So I've grabbed a little bit and then wiped it off on my paper towel. And now I'm just going to add some to her cheeks right here. And then I'm going to let that dry, and I'm going to come back and maybe add a little bit more. I think I'll add a little bit of shadow on this side of her eye here, too with my mixed color. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll see if I want to add some more cheek color here in a minute. So while her face is drying, I don't want to work on her on her hair, but oh, look here, I forgot her ear. So let's grab a little bit of tattered rose for that. Do her ear. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of my mixed paint and do the inside of her ear a little bit with that. Then I'll come back and add a little bit more to that in a minute. Okay, so while that's drying, I don't want to do her hair because I'm afraid this is still wet and it'll bleed into her hair. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to work on her pants or her skirt, whichever you feel those may be. And for that, I used um, pumice stone. So I'm going to grab a little bit of pumice stone on my brush. And again, I'm going to lay it down where I want it to be darkest. So I'm going to start up here underneath the first shirt. And I'm going to run down some of these little lines that the, that the image already has in place for me. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off before this dries. And I'm just going to use my water to brush it away from that line and fill in a little bit more out here towards the edge of her skirt. And then I'll grab me a little bit more. And again, I want it to be darkest underneath the first shirt. So I'm going to start there, go down some of these lines that are already there for us. And then wipe my excess ink off and use just water to pull that ink down onto her skirt. And my brush is wet enough that it's not having a problem pulling it down. I and mean, if it was really dry, you would get partial way down here and it would be like <laughs> That's what it would feel like. And I got a little bit on her shirt right here, so I'm going to get that wet with just water. And remember, we'll take our paper towel and just dab that ink right off of the paper. And again, I'm going to get it just wet with water and grab my paper towel and pick that up. Okay, and I want my skirt to have a little bit of dark areas right here where there's a little ruffle, and right here. I got a little too much ink, so I'm going to wipe that off. And again, we're going to smooth our line with just water. Okay, and we're going to let that dry, and we're going to come back, and we're going to add some more shading to that. But while that's drying, we're going to go up here, and we're going to put some more color on her ear, because I forgot it earlier. So we're going to grab some tattered rose, and then I have quite a bit, so I'm going to wipe my brush off. And 
add them a little bit more there. And then while that's drying, I'm going to skip over here and I'm going to get this apple because it's already dry. And for that, I'm going to do barn door. Actually, I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use um, my detail brush, which is the little yellow one. I'm going to check to make sure I have some water coming out on my paper towel. Grab me a little bit of barn door ink because this one has a really fine tip so it'll be a lot easier to get in between her fingers. I'm just going to lay down where I want it to be darkest so it's going to be dark down at the bottom of the apple the most. And see how it's kind of lightening up already? Okay, but I still have a lot of ink on my brush so I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to use my water and my br wet brush just to pull it up towards the top. Okay, and that's pretty good for our first coat, so we're going to let that dry.